This is how Kendrick Lamar just verified his new album is dropping. The album is on the way. We don't know what day yet, but it is on the way. Have I not even been watching these videos laid on full screen? I haven't. As Drake recently dropped new music and flashy visuals, his online presence exploded, hinting at some spicy diss tracks aimed at Kendrick Lamar. But here's the twist. It wasn't just about Drake. The buzz highlighted a bigger reason behind his moves, which was Kendrick Lamar's unstoppable rise. <laughs> This summer, Drake's career has Damn. felt like it's been on shaky ground with the rapper seeming a bit lost. Meanwhile, Kendrick Lamar has been on fire, earning lots of critical praise and respect and racking up impressive numbers, all with just five songs. Oh His achievements have made him a powerhouse in hip hop, making Drake's efforts look a bit overshadowed. No doubt, Kendrick Lamar's unbeatable reign in the music world has been supercharged by the massive hit Not Like Us. This single track like has those. done what many albums can't even dream of, smashing streaming records and topping charts. The magic of Not Like Us grew even bigger when Kendrick went silent after dropping its music video in July. Meanwhile, Drake's questionable yeah, antics and public slip-ups have only made Kendrick's win look even easier. Update Pe though, he has uh, mentioned about the Super Bowl. I believe he did. that was a real, real quote from him, but he's uh, headlining Super Bowl, I think. That's what he's doing, but he's he's doing the Super Bowl. That's all I know. So expect to hear "Not Like Us" at least like maybe seven times. I don't know, but expect to expect to hear it again. It's, it's not going away. So people are starting to, to think like Kendrick us. has already hit all his 2024 goals and might not release anything else this year. It seems like he's happy to let his recent triumphs do the talking. Now everyone's wondering: Will Kendrick stay quiet or drop another game changer? Recent rumors about Kendrick Lamar and Drake's ongoing feud have everyone buzzing about their next moves. The latest gossip has fueled the fire, sparking debates among fans. Things got heated when DJ Academics claimed that Kendrick was gearing up to release new music. People usually take Academics' words with a grain of salt because of his questionable connections and track record. Take this time, for example. Damn, People fun, close man. to Kendrick called him out for spreading false info, but then a friend of Kendrick's known as Hitta J3 dropped some receipts, including screenshots of his text chat with Kendrick about the new music rumors. In the exchange, Kendrick Lamar shut down the rumors sparked by academics, confirming his new album <laughs> is on the way. When his friend asked, but A, hey, is the album coming out or are you just on Demon? Kendrick's reply was, we coming. This short but sweet message shared by a verified friend of Kendrick's who he follows has sent waves of excitement through the music world. The credible confirmation hints at a fresh, full-length project from Kendrick. Okay. Given the current music scene and Kendrick's artistic vibe, this news isn't too shocking. Kendrick's recent subtle yet sharp digs at Drake suggest a smart move to reclaim his throne and push hip-hop's limits. Dropping a new album will not only solidify his status as a trailblazer, but also cement his legacy as a visionary artist. However, Kendrick has decided smartly to hold off dropping his new album as he is waiting for the yeah, perfect moment quiet. to make the biggest splash. I feel like he don't announce his like, like album date or it's going to drop the same time as a Super Bowl. Like it's either going to be on the Super Bowl where he, that's, that's like literally all eyes on his shit, bro. Like that's like, if you think about it, it's all I'm not, I'm not trying to be fucking overly excited. I'm not that big of a fanboy. But like it's just like I feel like that's like all eyes on him. He's about to drop at the Super Bowl. Like that made sense. Like, but oh, that joint out right now, like type shit. Everybody's gonna be on the Super Bowl, like, ooh. So you know everybody don't be there for Super Bowl, but Kendrick say he just dropped an album, bro. Everybody about to pop that shit in right now. They're like, oh my god, I have to listen to this. There's people like, oh my god, I have to react to this. Like, you know how hard it's gonna be to decide what they're about to do between the Super Bowl and that, or you're about to turn it on both. You know what I mean? Like, that shit's about to happen like that, bruh. Or, or, it's it's either one, bruh. Or, he's gonna reveal when it's gonna drop. That's that's the only alternative, bruh. That, that's it. Ain't no way he's gonna be there and just not say anything. You know what I mean? There's no way. If you look at the music I mean, scene, it is that. quite obvious that Drake's subsequent weak doing. tracks have choices. left him in a weaker spot. Meanwhile, Kendrick's legendary diss tracks and the unstoppable success of Not Like Us, which keeps rocking the top five, have given him a clear edge. Dropping an, al an album now would be too soon and it might backfire. By waiting, Kendrick lets everyone fully soak in his past hits, building up even more hype for his next release. 
Plus, he avoids overshadowing his own achievements and keeps his focus on exposing Drake's weak points. This careful strategy ensures that when Kendrick finally releases his new album, it'll hit hard, reinforcing his place as a hip-hop genius and master strategist. Contrary to what some of Drake's fans might think, believing Kendrick's delay is a win for their guy, they're actually missing a big part of the music industry and how it works. The massive success of Not Like Us isn't just about topping the charts. It's become a cultural thing because of its deep, thought-provoking message and perfect timing. When an artist scores a hit like this, it doesn't make sense to mess it up by dropping new music too soon. Letting Not Like Us really shine and finish its chart run is a smart move as it boosts the song's cultural impact and solidifies its place in music history. By giving the song time to make its mark, Kendrick ensures that its message is fully embraced and appreciated. Also, if you're enjoying this video, kindly give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel yeah, so you don't miss more them, updates that we have coming. As summer gradually Maybe. comes to an end, Not Like Us is coming closer and closer to the end of its chart-topping reign, which is indirectly said. Now that I do not believe. I feel like the top top charting reign of that song is not over. I feel like it is very much still alive. So. I feel like they will still be alive too, at least until Kendra drops a new one that's gonna uh, go harder than that one. That's all I can say. Once that happens, then maybe we're out of the, the doghouse with that song, but we're gonna hear it for a while until then. Setting the stage for Kendrick Lamar's next big move. After he has gone silent since his last release, there is an undeniable buzz in the air, with lots of fans eagerly awaiting his next project. We don't know a lot of details about his upcoming work, but one thing that we are sure of is that Kendrick has been collaborating with some heavy hitters in the studio. For instance, Terrace Martin, who has played a crucial role in crafting some of Kendrick's most memorable hits, has been working alongside him. Additionally, DJ Mustard has reportedly sent lots of beats hey, Kendrick boy, play in recent months. Now, Although we don't have all the specifics yet, it's clear that Kendrick's mission to breathe new life into hip hop and reclaim its former glory is far from over. With 2024 being a pivotal year for his career and his ongoing high-profile feud, it's apparent that Kendrick is far from finished. The diss tracks that we saw Kendrick send Drake's way in previous months were far more than just personal jabs. They were a strategic critique of how Drake's approach has affected hip-hop culture. One sure thing that they did achieve was tearing down Drake's focus on clickbait and numerical success over genuine artistry, and by doing so, Kendrick aimed to reclaim the core values of hip-hop and restore its power to inspire and make a difference. The lyrical attacks he made were designed to push the hip-hop genre back to its roots, doing that by emphasizing real art and meaningful messages. However, Kendrick surely knows that to truly shake up the scene and make a lasting impact, he needs to back these critiques with a solid body of work. His upcoming project will stand to be a showcase of his dedication though. to hip-hop's original principles and his drive to bring the genre back to its former greatness. Given the incredible quality of his past work, this new release is likely to be a game-changer that redefines the genre's current landscape. For over two decades now, Kendrick's influence has been making a huge impact on the music world with his focus on deep and nuanced lyrics that have got even more people interested in the nostalgic feeling of old school hip hop. The genre has never been more centered on the art of lyricism and the intricate details that make hip hop shine. So with this in mind, I think it is quite reasonable to expect that Kendrick's new album will not only reinforce his status as a legendary artist, but also push the boundaries of what can be done through music even further and the recent tweets from Kendrick Lamar's team seem to support just that. They hint that their attention has shifted from sparring with Drake to focusing on creating music with a deeper purpose. This shift makes Kendrick's plans for his next album clear. He's all about next fulfilling about his artistic crazy, vision. Bro. However, in the midst of all of these, one thing we shouldn't do is write off Drake. Of course, Drake At is all. currently facing some challenges, as obvious song, with bro. his recent releases, not making much of an impact, it is important to remember so his impressive though. track record from the late 2010. Hey, you can call it not an impact, though, but they, them Drake songs a, a bop, though, bro. Like, you can't hate on it, though. Like, the, them shit's a bop, but they ain't going number one, which is surprising because they're actually pretty, like, catchy, but, like, yeah, I guess they're not good enough. But, um... Yeah, there ain't no number one, but they, they, he's, still, he's still coming out with His songs. past successes remind us of his potential, even if he's struggling to hit those heights again right now. While it's unlikely that Drake will easily bounce back to his previous glory, it would be a drastic mistake to think he is completely done. Kendrick's team would do well to stay sharp and committed to their artistic goals, 
avoiding any complacency. Kendrick Lamar's clear win in the previous high stake feud showcases his strategic genius and lyrical skill. By staying on the offensive and taking advantage of Drake's mistakes, Kendrick was able to outshine him significantly. On the flip side, Drake's misjudgment of Kendrick's abilities contributed to his downfall. Given Kendrick's proven expertise, it's almost certain he won't underestimate Drake and their ongoing rivalry. To make the most of the momentum from this feud and complete his artistic mission, Kendrick needs to drop his album in the next few months. Timing the release right will help him wrap up this chapter triumphantly, reinforcing his reputation as a hip hop innovator and marking this moment as a significant one in the genre's history. Anything less might dilute the impact of his efforts and potentially weaken the narrative he has worked so hard to build. Looking at Kendrick Lamar's carefully planned moves during this period, it's clear that he has orchestrated each step to create maximum impact. From dropping Not Like Us while Drake was on tour, to holding strategic meetings in LA and premiering the music video at Michael Rubin's White Party, every action has been designed to highlight that Drake's decline. Party, while Kendrick seems what to have moved he? away from overt diss tracks, his moves still aim to subtly undermine Drake's reputation and stir up unease. Given this pattern, I'm predicting that Kendrick will release his album in late October. If he releases it by this time, it could give Kendrick a bigger chance to solidify his role as a major force in hip hop's evolution and reinforce the narrative of his victory over Drake. There is one more thing. Kendrick has the opportunity to pull another unexpected move that will really make him even bigger. Drake's birthday is coming up on October 24th, oh, so yeah, imagine that, that Kendrick too. Lamar decides to drop his version of The Heart Part 6 on too. that Thursday, followed by the full album on Friday the 25th. That would be so insane. Judging from history about how strategic- I guarantee Ken he probably got a song on that album with his fucking, like, Drake's birthday or his name, you know, something like that, bro, like on the album or something, bro, or his son's name or some shit like Adonis or something. I know he don't have at least one jab at Drake in that album, bro. He's he got to, bro. He ain't he ain't finished yet, bro. I don't think so. I feel like he got one more in him, bro. Pause. Like he he definitely got another song in there somewhere, bro. He he ain't done yet. I have a feeling he's not. Kendrick can be about his releases. That might be the plan, but we will have to wait and see. However, one thing I believe we can all agree on is that the album is a pivotal moment for the genre. It is a very rare chance for Kendrick to create a fresh blueprint that moves hip hop away from the exploitative trends that Drake has been using for weeks now. If Kendrick doesn't deliver a powerful musical statement, the impact of this feud might not resonate as strongly and the genre could miss out on the transformative growth like that Kendrick's times. vision promises. The excitement for Kendrick's album is building and its release is sure to influence the future direction of hip hop in a significant way. So what do you think about all this? Do you think that Kendrick is capable of pulling a 10 out of 10 album? Or do you think it won't be able to live off the hype Kendrick's already capable. being generated and it would give Drake a significant edge? I'm interested in what you guys think. Sure, I'm interested in what you guys think too, my boy. Let me know what you think. Will that album be a 10-10, bruh? I feel like it's gonna be like, I don't know, like, a 10-10 is hard, but if you had Killer Mike on there, bruh, it might be an 11 out of 10. I don't know, Killer Mike that dude, bruh. That's that nigga right there. But we don't go ahead and play this fucking little outro song, bro. You feel me? We got, uh, what's her name? Uh, Ducci, I think. My bad if I say it wrong. You feel me? But we got Ducci. Uh, what it is? Solo version. This is her most popular joint. It only has 326,000. So, I wouldn't say she's too crazy. I mean, she got 8 million listeners. So, that that's pretty good, though. But let's, let's hear it. It's our outro for today, bro. Thank you.